are we filming? Yes, we are. So this is uh, this is test time. This is a review of the Lumos Mini refillable pen from Tom's Studio. Uh, you will have seen me unboxing this uh, a few videos ago, but um, I have resisted the temptation to test this until today and we're gonna do we're gonna do the testing right now so uh let me just uh take the pen out of the box again i'm as you know i was all i was impressed with the with the the packaging um i haven't decided yet what ink i'm going to use but i I'll, i can it's just going to be a spur of the moment thing um I, I love the way this is drawn out, uh, by the way. Very, very simple instructions. Um, very self-explanatory. And the, the the way that you ink this pen is absolutely magic. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. But I'm just, I'm just putting that there so that you can freeze frame it if that's something you want to do. Um, fantastic. So... It says start the refillution. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, but let's let's put this packaging on one side. Um, one of the things that I noticed, which I didn't spot in my unboxing video, is as well as this ink. I'm not going to use this ink to be honest. I'm going to use my own ink. But underneath here, there is a nifty little thing. Let me just uh, open this out so you can you can freeze frame that as well. Um, yes, lovely, absolutely lovely. Um, again, a bit of a freeze frame there. Um, it is my hope that my tools will play a part in others planting or nurturing their own seeds, saplings, or mighty oaks in the pursuit of creative growth, expression, or just for the fun of it um why not why not um i like that but if i just put that out the way a second um in here it says silicon tip grip this nifty little extra allows you to get a hold of the tips without getting inky fingers it's also handy for unscrewing the black tip holder when refilling your lumos which is fair enough. Well, let me just uh, let me just open this. I'm making a pig's ear of this, but but we are where we are. Um, okay, let's see what we've got here. Okay, let me just take this out if I can. Okay. So this is a this is a this is when you unscrew it you put this on the on the uh on the tip and then you can more easily unscrew it. So sounds good to me. Good a nice little touch there. Um but this is the this is the moment where I choose the ink. Um and I've got a I have got a lot. Um, I'm. Uh, I am thinking. It's a toss-up between. Um, a toss-up between Diamine's Oxford Blue, which is quite dark, and this is a 0 0.1 millimeter nib I've got in here, uh, or Noodler's Heart of Darkness. Now. As I understand it, there is a risk of this uh, of blockages uh, with certain inks, but I think we're all right with this. Um, although, if you get this Noodler's Heart of Darkness on your fingers, it does feel a little bit on the the sticky side, whereas these Diamine inks or the Parker inks tend to be tend to be. Oh, excuse me, I've got hiccups tends to be sort of fair uh, non-sticky so i'm just wondering whether this will will eventually clog up the 
the filter, the the uh, the the, the re they call it the reservoir, but it's it's uh, as I understand it, it's it's uh, cotton wadding. But we'll see. But if it does, it's not a problem because the 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 reservoirs can be purchased quite cheaply, and I've got a range of uh, I think I've got about twelve nibs already for this tool, so I can quickly just remove anything and then wash it out and then refit, refill, and get get writing again. So noodlers or diamine Oxford blue. Uh, the reason why I want it really dark is because I want it to, I want it to be clear on the page and have good contrast, even when it's very, very, very narrow nib tip, if you like. Um, do you know what? I'm going to go for Heart of Darkness. So let's put that to one side. And I've I've decanted this into a into a smaller bottle. Um, uh, so we're going to give this a go. So the moment of truth has arrived. I'm just going to drop this ink. Yep, and it's uh, it's soaking it up, soaking it up through a capillary attraction. I'm just waiting maybe 10, 20 seconds for the ink to be soaked up by up oh, there we go so can you see the 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 tip or the nib or the tip is now saturated with ink so job done okay so first test noodlers Now, I always write in capitals, as you know. Heart of Darkness. And, and it is a, um, a Tom Studio. Mini Lumos. Now it feels just like a fibre tip pen, so it doesn't have the same smoothness as you would expect from a fountain pen, but this isn't a fountain pen, it is a fibre tip pen. Um, but do you know what? I think that looks fantastic, and from a point of view of EDC, everyday carry, I think this is verging on the sensational and i i have had this pen now for uh two or three days and this is the first time i have used it in anger so what you're seeing here now is not only uh not only um my uh my first use of this pen but also how I feel about it. And how do I feel about it? I'm, I'm very, very pleased. I could easily see this as... I could easily see this as... Uh, let, me, let me just see if I can just zoom in. That's better, isn't it? Um, uh, I could easily see the, this as, a, as my everyday carry. Tom's Studio. Mini Lumos. And I'm I'm very very happy with that. I mean, it is very very. It's a very narrow uh, um, tip, 0.1 millimeter. I'm going to try the 0.2 and 0.3. I might get some of the other uh, tips that uh, are available in Tom Studio that will fit this pen. I think there's 11 or 12 available um not quite sure how many but um 
I'm very, very happy with this 0.1. I don't know how long these tips will will last, um, but clearly they're going to, they're, you know, it's a disposable, like, it's a consumable, isn't it? It will wear out. It won't last forever. Um, but do you know what? I'm quite happy with that. I am really, really happy. I've just got some ink on my finger on my th on my hand again um i'm very very happy with this uh just a just a couple of things that uh are i wouldn't say plus they're, they're not minus points but clearly the design of the pen means that you could easily uh have your you could all, easily lose your pen if if you let it roll off the table but that is the price that you have to pay for a design like this and to be honest i'm okay with it i am okay with it um and the other thing i've noticed is um you have to it's probably me rather than the pen but you have to you have to be careful when you're using these fine threads you mustn't cross thread them so you've got to you've got to be fairly deliberate in your um in your in your attempts to uh, find the right, engage the threads properly so you don't cross thread them. Um, to be honest, I think that's part of the charm, and there's no, there's no, uh, there's no uh, harm in being. I mean, this is a precision instrument. I mean, it really is. Uh, so it's slightly more difficult to to engage the threads than it would be with a with a a fountain pen, which has coarser threads. Um, but I like that. I like that a lot. Let me see if I can just post the the cap, as it were. And let's just try this again. I really, really like this. I don't know how long the ink will last, but do you know what? There's no doubt about it. If you want to do a top-up, um, unlike a normal fountain pen where you end up having to to wipe the excess off uh, there is no excess to wipe off really if you're careful about this then you can just you could just I should use that 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 neoprene uh, thing that was supplied uh, but I you can take this off and I'm I am going to get my fingers messy here let me see if I can just do that with the neoprene thing because that is that is a, a a tricky thing. So let me see if I can let me see if it's ah there we go. So once you've got it started it's okay. But but it's it's something that I'm going to have to get used to. So it's very, very easy to dip this into a bottle of ink and then let it soak for a few seconds and then put it back together again. So I would say that you're probably going to use less ink in this, in the refill stage because there's virtually nothing to wipe away. Um, and th there is a lot of there is a lot of ink that is that is wasted when you are refilling when you're refilling a uh, a pen. Actually, that's very very useful. That's very very useful. So I mustn't lose that neoprene thing. Um, but I think this is absolutely. I've not actually used one of these before. Um, so what an amazing thing uh one one other thing that uh i although i'm not really into pen loops for filofaxes one thing i have noticed uh to my advantage is this oh let me let me screw the uh the cap back on and that is this so long as you have a proper leather uh, pen loop, not the folded over ones that have uh, a hem inside. This is perfect. It is. I don't. I don't know whether it's been designed that aren't like that. Perhaps. Uh, perhaps Tom can let me know. But 
Uh, perhaps serendipitously, the pen is a perfect fit and appears to have the same diameter as a... This, this is a standard Filofax pen. It appears to be exactly the same diameter, which for Filofax users um, is really good news. What a fantastic thing this is. Um, so... Am I happy? What, uh, what marks out of 10 will I give this? Um, I, I mean, I, uh, I'm, I'm absolutely fascinated by this. It feels fantastic quality. Uh, and, uh, I'm looking forward to having it as my, part of my EDC. Um, I might carry something else as well because, uh, it's never a good idea to, to have just rely on one pen. Uh, but to be honest, it's it's almost like a work of art, isn't it? Um, fantastically well engineered, very very nice. It's it's. I wouldn't want to write all the time with one of these, like a journal, because it's a lot. Of, it's a lot smoother to use a, a fountain pen, which just glides over the paper. But that's not really what this is intended for it is it is after all a, a fiber tip pen a refillable pen and as such it is it does exactly what it's designed to do um very very well it just imbues a, a real sense of uh feel it, it, it gives me a feel good factor when i'm using it frankly i mean amazing so i'm very very pleased i would say it comes highly recommended Thanks very much for watching and goodbye.